Welcome, Cancer, to your reading. I'm Scorpio Moon. Intuition read messages from Spirit. This reading is general, and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Cross Watcher, if you're the ones watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and holy angels, nice and great is good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, Cancer, let's go ahead and take a look at your love interest and see what comes through. Spirit, please bring forth clear messages. In regards to the person that is connected to cancer in love, what can you tell me about this person connected to my cancer in love? What is the energy of vibration of the person connected to the sign of cancer? Thank you. What well, wants to show up for the person connected to cancers in love? Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> uh, maybe this person has a lot to uh, tell you. Let's see. What else is going on? Just two messages, please, Spirit. What messages want to come through? Dang. Well, I mean, all right. We'll take it. So your person is married and they have children, and that's why. If they were unavailable, they're becoming available, okay? So if you're dealing with a married person, married with kids, married with children, um, they're slowly becoming uh, available. They're kind of like back on the market, right? Also, we have forgiveness in reverse. Forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. They, they can't really forgive themselves for letting go of this situation, very interesting. Let's see what else is going on. I'll just put that here. Spirit, can you please clarify the marriage? Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, please clarify marriage. Okay, we have self-love and love, and we have patience. Maybe they've lost a the patience uh, in their marriage, and they're realizing that they they weren't really loving themselves. Okay, um, they have let go of the fear. They're no longer afraid of letting go of a, a karmic situation. Uh, please clarify, children's spirit. Yeah, there's a lesson here that they are learning. Anything else about the children? Let's see here. Okay, so the lesson is about maybe being a husband. Um, you know, in other words, maybe a father, and you possibly can't see that, right? Here we are, husband. Also, we have a confusion or enlightened. They, they weren't very sure about the role uh, of being a father figure to their kids and um, their career and finances. Um, they were thinking about the whole financial aspects when it comes to children. So your person wasn't really uh, just thinking about themselves. They're actually thinking about their children too. But I feel like your person is coming to the conclusion that um, they've lost their patience with their marriage and dealing with the karmic from what I can see. 
okay and they don't know if the kids are gonna hate or resent them so they're letting go of this idea or having a fear that maybe uh, their children is going to hate on your person for whatever that they're doing to mama okay or daddy over there okay whoever that they're married to okay and i see here soulmate now children can also be soulmates okay so they um your person doesn't know if um they will be forgiven by their children okay so um they're letting go of you know whatever that the kids might say <clears throat> i really feel like you know your person is really trying to be a leader in this dynamic because they're not respecting themselves so in a sense you know the children may hate the the fact that you know they're going through a situation but they're also teaching them that if they don't respect themselves or or truly be authentic in a relationship then they're trying to lead by example and that that's what i'm feeling so let's see what why is unavailable here so your person is now becoming available Please reveal to me the availability of this person. What is going on with the availability? Okay, so we have here winter, coldness and isolation. It's in reverse. Maybe this winter they want to get warm. <laughs> and I see the purging and detoxing. So they're learning to release and let go of their marriage about expectations with children even like opinions of their own children is what i'm hearing i feel like they about had it like they can't continue to do this anymore with a karmic that's what this feels like and um yeah they don't know if they'll be forgiven if they you know start dating or hooking up and i feel like this is a question in regards to whoever that they're married to and their kids okay i feel like they they let them know okay your person has let them know that they're moving on without the mom or dad over here okay of the children so there's a lot that's going on uh with you cancer let's see let's go ahead and see what else Spirit, please reveal to me what is the overall energy of the person that is connected to cancer. What is the overall energy, please, Spirit? And how do you guys currently think? How do you feel? What is it that you both want and outcomes? And if karmic energy wants to show through, please reveal the karmic. Thank you, Spirit. So, yeah, um, there's a lot of things that are beneath the surface, and I really feel like, you know, they're kind of in hiding. Um, I feel that they're afraid of what people might say. So, again, your person is really thinking about what people might say or think, and it's it's really the children, okay? I really feel like they, they wouldn't even care about what other people thought, like adults, about uh, your person's relationship but it's the kids that count the most and um, they're starting to see okay either they're thinking about the kids or they're thinking about the past you know they're definitely thinking of you and i said they're making plans now it may take another year for this to kind of finally uh, pull through but they're they're going through it right now and they feel like they can't do this anymore with the karmic like i am like dead serious like i'm feeling this like they have made a firm decision they're they're gonna let them go and i see that um they're just holding themselves back because they're making plans right now so if you're watching this and you're connecting with a twin flame there is a divine masculine that is showing up and i see that they're making plans to let go of the the toxic relationship that they have been in 
and they want to get off the separation between you and them so that uh, they could finally come to you in the physical. They want to heal. There's a lot of healing that needs to take place. So this is about forgiveness, you know, um, asking for forgiveness, you know, from their children. You know, I don't know if they're asking them, but I feel like energetically, they don't know if they will be forgiven. So they're going through that. And um, they're going through a major change and transformation here with the scorpionic energy. Uh, I'm also seeing that they don't know what the future holds, but they know that they want to be happy. They are actually now more than ever willing to be vulnerable. Uh, maybe this person wasn't being vulnerable in their marriage and they realized that they weren't loving themselves. It was actually making them sick and um, they're starting to lose their patience. Like how much more are they going to endure with this facade, this fake life that they're living and they just weren't happy. Okay. You could be done with the Leo. There's a lot of major arcanas that is showing up. So that tells me that there's a lot of changes going on with your person right now. And I see that they're kind of hurt and a little bit guarded about taking this uh, step forward. Like nobody said it was going to be easy. Okay. But I really feel like, you know, with patience, okay. Cause they've, they lost their patience with their marriage and they're, they know what they want. Okay, so they're they're coming for you. Okay, this is the chariot. This is your card. Your person has made a decision to come forward towards you, and you possibly will get contact or communication from them that they were in their ego about loving you. For some, okay, maybe you got pregnant with this one. Maybe this person was married to somebody else and finally they're breaking free from their marriage and they're coming towards you, you know, and I feel like maybe you, you both got pregnant, you know, and that's for some, that's not for everyone. And I see that because of that, okay, um, there was, who there was some arguments between, I don't know if you got involved with the other person too, like. I can totally see like some drama, like you home wrecker, you know, like, <laughs> like maybe uh, the karmic showed up and, you know, and your person was like, no, you know, you have no right to go over there and, you know, do this and that, but justice will be served. Now there was a little bit of deception here about maybe revealing the truth about healing over this third party situation. And I feel like your person, um, you know, I'm not going to lie. Your person was a hundred percent. Also, if they were married and they had, um, you know, a child out of wedlock, you know, where they're, you know, with, uh, multiple people, I mean, your person wasn't right, but I really feel like they're trying to let go of the, the burden here. And they're starting to see that they have to end this karmic situation because they can't really offer you true love until they rectify it. Okay. Now they don't feel good. They feel shitty about how everything is going, but they're, they're not happy with the karmic. Okay. Like if lost their patience, they, they don't, they're just not into that energy. Okay. And the kids, I really feel like the children, they don't really resent. Maybe the children understand the reason for your person leaving the marriage with their, their parent. Okay. That's what that looks like. So, man, this is a hot mess. Um, let's see what else. <laughs> so, your person is thinking, okay, they don't know what to say. Okay, what they do know is that they want to get off the separation here. They're still healing over the third party. And I feel like with you, you're using your intuition about the situation. You being the high priestess. Okay, also divine feminine energy. So again, I really feel like this is a twin flame reading. Okay, but it could be about soul connections, right? Um, how do you guys feel? They, they really don't feel the, the courage or the strength because... Financially, okay, they've got a lot. They have a battle that's ahead of them. They're going to be losing some money in the process. And I feel like with you, you feel like maybe this won't work out because your person, 
isn't able to give. Now, for some, if you're pregnant with your person, this could be about child support and, and the karmic is possibly, you know, saying something about, well, you know, you know, our kids come first and, you know, you I don't know. It's just, I feel like there's a number one and a number two. Okay. I don't know. That must be for someone. Okay, you're dealing with two babies' mamas and a baby's daddy, <laughs> or you know, or whatever. You could switch it around, but that's what I feel. Now, what do you guys want? Your person really wants to get out of the relationship, and I feel like it's with the karmic, and they really want to work on things with you. For some, it's been about three years. You feel like you're kind of depressed. Um, cancer and you really feel like you don't know it's like you don't want to be a home wrecker also you know it's like oh geez this reading is hard um now they're they're gonna get a divorce okay that is what they really want and you have made a decision that you're you're you'll be open to this if your person goes through it so it's not like you would you want to wish the karmic you know, there's ill will because you have uh, empathy towards the children and, you know, the karmic situation. You know, I mean, if anything, if your person has kids with the other karmic, you'd be more than willing to, you know, extend uh, towards the children of your your person over here. That's what it looks like. But you don't you don't want to be that that, you know, you don't like the situation as it is. Now, I see that they want someone stable, okay, someone who knows how to really, you know, really stand on their own and not be really codependent. They like a really independent person, and they're not telling this to you, okay? Um, and for you, you still feel like you need to make a decision. Your person isn't telling you something, So there will be communication. Your person is making a plan and you're just not feeling it. Wow. Cancer. It's like, maybe it's just, I don't know. This is why I feel. Maybe you feel like it's not right. Like you're thinking about the karmic and the children also. It's like you don't want your person to, you, to leave one thing and move on to the next as much as you want. This person, like, I don't know, or maybe a lot of time has passed and maybe you wanted them at one point, but now it's like, you don't know. It's like, maybe there's a red flag that's showing up for you, but everyone's situation is different. But that's what I'm saying. If you guys want me to dive deeper into your, um, your person, then you can definitely book a personal reading with me. But that is what I'm seeing here so far. Your person is making a plan and you are feeling like... You, you like this one, but you're just kind of on, on reserve. And I see that they're really trying to get out of the third party situation. You just feel like maybe you're just putting your foot down. You're setting your boundaries and you're like, you know what? Don't come to me until like this is over. Like you don't want to be like that mistress or the mister, this, you know, the secret lover and you know, and there's kids here involved too. Wow. Okay. So let's see what else wants to show up from your person. What does your person want to say? Well, your person definitely likes to talk. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you're done with an air sign, you know? I don't know. That's what it seems like. Your person likes to talk. <sighs> but they don't like to talk to their karmic. Messages, uh, spirit from Cancer's love interest. What does this person want to say to Cancer? I like that attitude you carry. So they really like, you know, how firm you are in regards to your, your viewpoint. Um, let's see. Anything else? Hmm. 
I'm too stubborn to give in to you. So your person, okay, now you're being stubborn. Oh man, I feel like you're you're kind of guarded and you're really blocked up and they like it. That's why they're like going for it. I don't know. It's some weird <laughs> attraction you guys got. I don't know. They they like how how stubborn you are, Cancer. <laughs> So let's see. What is the guidance? What is the guidance? What is the guidance it's for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, Cancerians, or for the cross watcher who is watching? What is the guidance message here? Guidance message, please, Spirit. I really feel like it's this one. It says choices. Wow. Feeling blocked and restrained. Let's see. And I feel like that's what's going on with you. Okay. Because... Um, I'm too stubborn to give in to you. You know, they're like, you know what? They're, they need to make a choice. And, you know, they've made a decision. That's what I feel. They like the attitude you carry. And they feel like you're too stubborn. That's what I feel. But let's see. Number six. There were doors all around the hall, but they were all locked. And when Alice had been all the way down one side and up the other, trying every door, she walked sadly down the middle, wondering how she will ever get out again. When we are changing in order to find our own personal wonderland, we need to keep the momentum going in whatever area of life the magic of change is arriving. This means leaving the in-between lands of the idea and entering into the choices we must make to move forward. It may seem to you, as it does to Alice, that each choice presents a potential problem, and there is not one clear choice or way to go. Each door is locked, too small, impossible to open or even um, to fit through. But Alice had not yet found the way. You are too on the road to finding the way to unlock the opportunities that are around you. It may also be that various tests of courage will reveal the key to the door, which will see, your, uh, see you enter Wonderland. Right now, you have choices. Each of them may seem to have one or more drawbacks or obstacles. You feel that if you do not know how to get through the other side, perhaps you are not meant to go there at all. But look about you. There are solutions. There are ways through. You can create the next steps, but you must be brave and willing to try something very new. And then you must be ready to deal with the uncertainty taking the step shall bring. If you peek through the keyhole, as Alice does, you will see the doorway leads to the loveliest gardens you can imagine. You must find a way through because the delights that lie on the other side are worth this task. The challenge is how to reach this place you need to uh, grow smaller. You may need to grow larger. You may need to change yourself in ways that initially seem very strange to you. So here's the divination Choosing which way to go, a moment of decision, uncertain of what is best or what to do next, feeling like each door is closed, wanting to reach to the next stage of your life, but not seeing a single way through. Now, this could be about your person. This could be about you. Both, I feel like it's for your person, especially. They're going through a difficult time. They, they have a choice to make. You know, it's going to be difficult. Okay. And it can be attainable. And um, I really feel that you don't feel good about how your person's going about doing it. Maybe you have differences of opinions on how they're doing it. But I really feel this is like a really tough energy, guys. Like I've been channeling this all week. Everyone's going through some hard 
like this is like a breakup like there's like major shifts in the collective consciousness about relationships and what one person will will actually you know deal with or or settle are they settling or are they going after their uh just being honest with themselves you know and that's what i'm seeing guys so make a choice but try not to make it too hard i feel like if you sit with yourself then you will find a way so that's what I have. So I hope that that was helpful. Let me know. Thank you all for watching. And if you would like to book a personal reading with me where I can go deeper into your situation, if this sounds like your scenario and you want to know, like, you know, what is the connection with you? What are the next steps? Um, you know, is your person uh, going to finally open up? I can definitely channel that for you in a personal reading. And so, um, you can book a reading at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. Also, you can follow, follow me on IG at Scorpio Moon Intuition. I hope y'all have a lovely day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.